Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Dursa here, and welcome back to another video. And what I've got for you guys today is my 300 subscriber special. I know I hit 300 subscribers like, like about a week and a half ago, but I just, I just didn't have the time to make the video. But my 300, uh, but the video is finally here. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for getting me at 300 subscribers. It's been a long, like six to seven months since I started YouTube. It's just been a really fun journey with you guys, and just thank you guys so much for getting me up to 300 subscribers. Um, yeah, so what I've got for you guys today is, um, I'm just gonna make a video showing you guys how I make my videos, how I make my commentaries and all that, how I edit my videos. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so, um, the video that I use to edit most of the time is Video Shop, and Video Shop in the App Store, I think, is $2, I think. Let me check. Video Shop. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure Video Shop is $2 on that. It's either $2 or $1, I'm not really too sure. Yeah, um, okay, so anyways, yeah, this is the app that I use because it's it, it's really simple. So when you start out on the app, you just click the plus in the top right-hand corner. And then once you do that, it's going to open this up. You can either record, but I don't record my videos like that. No one does that. I mean, unless you're just doing a random thing. But And then, so you click album, you go see your photo album. You can import, you just click on the video you want to import. You could import a photo or video, whatever you want to do. So I'll just click on something random. Let's see. Um, yeah. So you just click on something and then you click done in the top right hand corner and it just says exporting to um, exporting. So you just wait until that finishes and then once that's done, it's in your app. Yeah. And the cool thing about this app is like, yeah. So the, it, you can do a lot of stuff with this. Um, you can click the text button. Just double tap the screen and just type in whatever you want. You can make it bigger, tilt to sideways. There's a bunch of different colors and fonts that they have that you can use if you don't like it. Swipe to the right, you can click delete. Um, yeah, you can also, with photos, you can, it's uh, automatically set to two seconds. You can change down the settings, but if you wanted to, you could just click it, like a video, anything you want. You could just rotate it. You can resize things. You can zoom in on things, zoom out. If you don't like uh, the zoom on things, you can make it bigger if you wanted to. Yeah, you can also rotate stuff with the rotate button. You just hit the rotate button, and you just rotate stuff. And this tilt button, I don't really use. I guess it just blurs out the side of stuff I think it just keeps the part you highlighted non blurred I'm not too sure I don't really use that but yeah in the settings you can change it to for um, where it makes everything portrait makes everything landscape everything square if you wanted to do that and everything's automatically um, everything's automatically two minutes long and you could just two seconds all the photos that you add are automatically at two seconds and you could change that slider to 10 seconds so yeah, if yeah, pretty much that's it. I think on the settings, there's not too much other stuff. Yeah, I guess people use this for Vine, Snapchat, and all that. But yeah, um, one other cool thing you can do, you can click the voice button. So this is what I use a lot to do voiceovers, cause I don't really like recording like live a lot of times. I just, um, I just make my video and I click here, click um, <clears throat> record, and then I just talk. And the cool thing about this, you just um, click the little volume, the little record, like that button, the blue thing, and you can move it from right to left wherever you want it. Yeah, you can also, if you go to the settings, if you click trim, you can fade in your sound, fade out, and then you can select where it starts and where it ends. And you can also click the blue thing and move it down to anywhere you want. Like, you can make it start any part in the video where you want. And if you click the slow button, you can make the video a lot faster if you wanted to. That's the rabbit. And if you wanted to make it slower, move it more towards the snail. And right in the middle is like the regular. Yeah, so as you can see, um, it does make everything a lot faster. And yeah, um, so in between every like thing that you add, you can put transitions. There's just a bunch of cool transitions that you can use. You see it's fast forwarded right here like I did earlier. And the thing just slid up from the top or from the bottom cause since I just added that. Yeah, and obviously everything else, if you, anything you don't like in it, you just click swipe to the right and you click delete but yeah um that's pretty much how i use photoshop there's yeah there's a bunch of cool stuff that you can use yeah so this is just what i use normally to um record all my videos but yeah and then once you're done you can click next and then there's like some stuff you can put on but yeah um so if you want more seconds on your photo like a photo's only like two seconds you can slide it up to 10 seconds and then click copy to have more seconds because it doesn't let you do more than 10 seconds for some reason. But that's fine. So you can just copy and just do more like slides, I guess, of the photo. Without any transition, it'll just look really clean. And you won't really see the difference. It'll just look like one photo. But yeah, um, that's pretty much how I use Photoshop. And then you could add a uh, video shop. You can also add sounds. If you click the sound button and click sounds. Click like the accents. There's cartoon sounds, sensor beeps. Uh, like a lot of cool, really cool things you can do. 
there's like some vine sounds if you do vine sound, but a lot of the vine sounds are like outdated. <clears throat> yeah, but there's just a lot of cool sound effects that you can add that comes with the app, which is really, really helpful. <clears throat> also, if you click um, tracks, they do have some tracks that you can't, some music tracks that you can't put on in the background without having to search up for that, which is also a really cool feature. Yeah, but if you want to add your own sound, you click your music and then you go to your um, music library from there and then just add it in, choose where to start. And yeah, that's pretty much it for video shop, I think. I would definitely recommend getting this app off the app store. It's, it's a really simple and easy to use app. If you're not really like a good editor, it's really simple. Everything's pretty straightforward and you can edit really nicely and make really cool videos. So I would definitely recommend getting this. It is $2. But yeah, so also if you want to turn off the sound, you just click that, uh, the little bar right there and turn it all the way down if you don't want it or make it louder if you do want it. And if you go back here, you can edit it. This is how you edit. You just click the edit. You guys can see I have a video loaded up for to do later. I have my intro and outro ready. But yeah, um, so the app that I used to record is called Display Recorder, and I did get it off Cydia, so that means you must be a jailbroken iOS device. And yeah, but if you aren't, yeah, and t in order to get Display Recorder, um, you need to go to Cydia, type in Display Recorder, but I think Display Recorder does cost $5, but there is a repo that you can type in, and you can add into your sources, and then search up Display Recorder, and get it for free. So, um, I will find that repo, I, don't, I downloaded this a while ago, so I don't remember what it is, but I will find that repo and put it on your screen right now and put it in the description below. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'll, yeah, so this player recorder is really simple and easy to use. You just you can go to the app and click, um, start, or you can make it start in your own way. I just triple tap and then click the record button to start it, triple tap again to stop it. But yeah, if you are not jailbroken and you do want to record your screen, if you are iOS or Android, what you want to do if you're on iOS, you want to go to www.emu4ios.net and then just wait for that to pop up. Click the first link right there and it will go ahead and take you into their website. Oh, Harry Plays video just came out. Okay, check that out. Um, but, um, cool. So, let this video, uh, let this website load up. Come on. Yeah, but if you're on Android, and one of the screen recorders that you want on Android, one of them is on the, the Play Store, so you'll search that up. I'll tell you that later. So one of the things you can use to record is iRec, but if you just click the EMU for iOS Store and download that, it'll come up with this. You click Install and all that, and it opens up. And once you open it up, it should look like this. Mine is a little bit outdated since I got it a while ago, but it should look pretty much like this. So the first screen recorder that you can use is Shoe. Um, you click Install right there. And the other one you can use to record is iRec. You click install. Both of these work really well to record the screen. But for Shoe, if you want to get Shoe on your Android, go to your Play Store and type in Shoe. And I'm pretty sure it should be there. But yeah, um, so in order to record games um, with Shoe or iRec, you, um, you need to have um, that um, uh, assistive touch on. So you just want to go here and then turn on assistive touch. And assistive touch is that little white thing in the top right corner. It's going to pop up any second now. So yeah, so you need to have that on in order to record any gameplay. See, so I'm going to quickly charge my phone, and I'll be back when my phone is charged, because my phone's like 4%. Okay, guys, okay, so now I'm plugged in. Okay, cool. Yeah, so in your order to record Shoe or iRec, um, you need to have this open. And I don't have either of those downloaded, but I used to record with them back on my channel. All you need to click uh, do with um, iRec, once you open up iRec, you just want to type in a name for your video. I think, I don't know if you do that. I think you do it before you record or after. doesn't really matter which. And then you just click start record and then you just go and um, start recording your gameplay. Yeah, Clash of Clans and stuff does not work unless you do have this on. So if you're trying to record, make sure you have this on. I'm pretty sure the same thing is true for um, Shu. And I think with Shu, you need to create an account, I think. But that's not too big a deal. Just um, create an account with your email. It's not too much important stuff. But yeah. So that's how, you, that's how I record. Let me just turn this off since it does get in the way. Yeah. Um. So the way I make thumbnails, I've already make a video. I've already made a video about this. I'll have the links in my description below. But the two apps that I use right here is Cut Me In, right here. It's a free app, and also Fonto, which is also a free app. Yeah. And also EMU File West, Um. The iRec and Shoe are free apps. The only thing that is not a free app that I use to um to edit is Video Shop. But I have another app that I use sometimes to record. Um, <clears throat> I usually uh, use Video Shop, but let's say I'm doing like a like a, I'm building a base or something in Clash of Clans, and I'm not gonna be talking in the background. I just want some music in the background, so I'm like no copyright sound or something. What I would use for that is iMovie, um, because um, Video Shop doesn't let me uh, get music into my stuff like that. 
So, um, oh, iMovie does cost like five dollars on the App Store, but um, I know a way to get free apps. Uh, I know a way to get paid apps um on the App Store for free. I'll have a video about that soon if you guys want me to do that. Yeah, but most apps on the App Store that cost money, you can get it for free. But yeah, anyways, so like with iMovie, what I use another app that I use. Where is it? It's right. Um, one second, one second, one second. It's I download I download a pro. I'm pretty sure it's free from the app store. So in this app, I have a password for some reason. I don't know why I did that. That's with jailbreak. Um, but yeah. So with this app, what I do is it's kind of okay. Yeah, what it is, I just search up a song. Let's like some like let's say it's fade by no copyright sound, and then I just download it. And once I download it, it will be on my files right here. And then with like uh, and then I could click on the file and then click open in and then iMovie. For some reason, it doesn't open in um, it doesn't open in Video Shop, but it does with iMovie. So I use iMovie for that purpose if I need to. But generally, I just stick to Video Shop. It is really simple and easy to record with. But yeah, um, so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video on how I record and how I do that. So once again, thank you guys so much for getting over to 300 subscribers. I couldn't thank you guys enough. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please smash that like button down below. I'll talk to y'all later. And until next time, thanks for watching. Peace out.